Welcome! Today we are going to solve Advent of Code. We have some catching up to do. I missed the last four days, so we're going to do four days in a row, starting with day four. And maybe uh, we, would, we would go through the tasks like more detailed. I'll try to explain each step, document each step. Maybe if it's not, like if it's visual, we'll probably go with humble UI. But if it's not, we will probably go with literal programming and clerk, at least for one task. Uh, that's what I'm planning to do. So yeah, let, let's go ahead and see what the problem is about. Camp cleanup. Space needs to be cleared before the last supplies can be unloaded from the ships. And so several elves have been assigned the job of cleaning up sections of the camp. Every section has a ID, unique ID number and each elf is assigned a range of section IDs. However, as some of the elves compare the section assignments with each other, they have noticed that many assignments overlap. To try to quickly find overlaps and reduce duplicated effort, the elves pair up and make a big list of section assignments for each pair of puzzle input. For example, consider the following list of section assignment pairs. For the first few pairs, list means within the first pair of elves, the first elves will assign section two to four, uh, while the second elf was assigned section 6 to 8. The elf in the second pair were assigned two sections. The elf in the third pair were assigned three sections. Okay. For example, uh, list is a single digit section ID. To magic it is to draw, the actual list might contain larger numbers. Visually, these pairs of section 7 still coexist. Okay. Some of the pairs have not have noticed that one of the assignments fully contains the other. For example, 2.8 fully contains 3.7 and 6.6 as fully contained by 4.4. Four. Yes, in pairs where one assignment fully contains the other, one elf is... Uh, would be exclusively cleaning sections, a partner will already be cleaning. So there seems like the most in need of in this example, there are two such pairs. In how many assignment pairs does one range fully contain the other? Okay. Um, so we have this example, right? Uh, so let's copy it. Yeah, I, I think we'll... Um, I, don't this. Um, I think we'll go with me also... No. Um, you know what? Now oh, one sec. So I paste it here. I need uh, this and profile. I have to which profile, which is sphere code at the moment, but I use. I want to use um, this one instead. It's a bit too large to my taste, probably. This is, feels about right. Okay. Uh, hopefully, it's readable. So. Should we do clerk? Maybe. Okay. Uh, let's see how we can. Which path is RC? Surf. Let's, let's build. It also depends on Babashka command line. What's that? Fuck. But uh, hmm. okay, let's see. Let's 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 see. It's uh, it should be interesting, right? So we add um, aliases, right? And in our its case, it's clerk and. It has like extra depths, like this, right? Okay, um, so script and Apple clerk. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. You know what? No, 
No, this is wrong. Fuck. This didn't work. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can make it work. No. Okay, this is going to be annoying, but uh, we'll try to use it. Uh, anyways, um, how does it work? What is in SRC? So you need the zero, right? The O4. And yeah, we actually need uh, this part the most, I guess. Right, so let's see comment here require I haven't actually used it really. There's also index some sort of well the easy way would be to use this but uh, <clears throat> Let's go actually and read something about Clark first. Funny how I just wished for the extreme done on some kind of list when there you are. <laughs> yeah, you're lucky, you're lucky. Okay. This is okay, so we can do probably this, right? So, uh, let's go and check on the latest version of this. The latest version seems to be this. Is it so? Yeah, okay, so we change this. Let's change to. Wait, wait what? Is it MVN? Yeah, MVN version. Okay. Yeah, let's change this to, to released version instead of Git. Okay, we add clear here. Well, actually, we, you know what? We can just put it since I I was not really into profiles here. Like I just bring everything. This this is kind of makes things simpler. Okay, um, port we don't care. So let's start. Yes, yeah, this should be removed. Okay, um, we join. We call this namespace not found. Yeah, okay, whatever. We call this. Okay, we call this. So this opens um, player. Let me show it. Actually, probably. Um, what? I have some spam, but I'm not sure how to remove it. Okay, let me. Click to reply, pin message. That's not what I want to do. If 
I click here, block report, spam, right? Spam. That's right, spam. And what else do I need? Block this user, yes. How do you remove the messages? Okay, yeah, slash band works. Uh, thank you. Uh, what we want is. I think we stuck with. Firefox. Okay, anyways, uh, we have this. I'll probably put it on the right. We have this. Put it on the left. Hide this. Or maybe we put this on the left, this on the right, whatever. Okay, and they recommend to actually do what? Clerk show. <coughs> Let's see if we can use it. Um, do I specify like SRC advent of code year 2022 day for CLG. Yes, no. What happened? Aha. Uh -huh. So it kind of worked, right? Kind of worked. Now, how do we like actually write in it? File watcher, clerk serve. Watch pass. Okay. Probably we need a watch pass SRC. Right. Okay. We got another one. And like is it saying if I comment this out, for example, that kind of removes it, right? Okay, let's start with this. Um, hmm. I, I, actually, I, I I don't know. Like, okay, this this works. This is very nice. I felt uh, able to render closure data. Cool. Uh, we also can do HTML actually. Well, I guess we need to move uh, this to the top of them in this case. Right. That's, um, that goes like here. Okay. Uh, what happens? Okay, so something broke. It broke something like this, probably. Yeah, so we see this. This works. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, HTML, never forget. Display SVG, Tailwind CSS, which I have no idea how to use. Uh, table is nice. Blah, blah, blah. Tech, Plotty. Yeah, this is all nice. Code. Images. Great layouts. This is very nice. But what do I do with it, really? How do I do this header and <coughs> <coughs> sorry? Uh, what as as I imagine. Imagine it, uh, we like copy something like this here. Let's let's just try like like this, right? What happens? Okay, so this looks like 
Oh, this look like okay. Yeah, probably what we need. All right. And maybe copy formatting in our case ID number <coughs> overlap big list like this, right? Does it work as bold? It works as italic switches like emph emphasis. Um hmm. how do I show this dev sample it certainly will be just sample okay um, do we need this I don't know yeah let's let's copy everything why, why not all right if we set out to do like Mm, how do you call it? Literal programming or, or something. Probably want something like this. Yes, it work. Yes. Now we need to make table out of this somehow. I'm not sure how it works, but Let's see if this is better. What if I do this? Yeah, this looks <coughs> <coughs> this looks better, right? Um, plain text. Yeah, this doesn't work, but whatever. Um, this looks less than perfect, maybe we'll do it like this, but whatever. Yeah, okay. Um, and finally, in the end, And we have our puzzle input here. We insert it here, right? <coughs> <coughs> okay. Oops. Let's see what we got. Um, nothing yet, which is strange. Okay, so now the data I wouldn't really well. How how do we force rewilding it? Okay, now it works. <coughs> <coughs> okay, uh, I seem to be coughing a lot today. We probably don't need this, right? So um, I guess we. We do this Let's see if it works this is your puzzle input some water. <coughs> it looks nice and it's also like 
this is Vera code actually. Maybe we, we, we should be using, um, oops. We should be using Vera code for consistency. And font size is about 13, 14, I guess it's about 14, right? No, it's even bigger, it's maybe 15. Yeah, probably like that. Or close. Some warm chocolate milk. Yeah, I don't have it nearby. Okay, so let's write uh, a function that parses the data, right? Uh, that's, that's where we want to start. Um, let's write a function that parses the uh, input first. So uh, <clears throat> what we want is basically like this. Um, All right, so we are going to use regular expression. Um, we take data, we take sequence of this, and we basically map it into A, B, C, D. A, A, B, C, D, right? Okay, yeah, um, uh, no, 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 uh, hmm. You know what? We can do it even simpler, uh, map bars long partition for we can do it like this uh, save so we find all numbers we convert each string to long and group each four, right? Um, let's try it on sample and basically this. Let's try it on sample, parse sample, and we get what we wanted. There was something about tables. Should we use table? No. Table, it's a sequence of sequences. Uh, huh. If we did it differently, we could use it, probably. Sequence of sequence. No, we can't we can use it, right? right? Okay, let's try. Clerk table. Okay, yeah, it's a table. <laughs> uh, probably not interesting in table view here. Anyway, right now at least. Uh, okay, this seems to do what we need to. Okay, now the next step we want to do is basically solve the problem. <clears throat> Uh, a function that we need we need a function that says okay uh, we need a function that determines if one 
range is inside another. So basically, our function uh, is going to be called contains. It's going to be. It's going to take this pair of ranges, and it's going to return through if a c d b is either z or or c a b d right so it's either second one completely inside first or first one completely inside second okay uh, let's check it and basically we want to check it on 6646 for example 6646 uh, you're right of course maybe 2468 2468 it's false and maybe what else this one two eight three seven two eight three seven right uh, let's check it contains false contains true two four is not inside six eight right um two three seven three seven is inside two eight and six six is inside four six Okay, <clears throat> I can make it dark, nice. Uh, pam, 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 pam. So we have a function that this looks a little bit annoying, but let's check it. We need the functions that this one ratios inside the other. Uh, let's check it. Uh, Finally, we are ready to solve the problem. Okay, um, finally we're ready to solve the problem. We take data, we parse data, and what we do is we take data, we map contains uh, Yes, this is the solution. Uh, parse data, right? Only keep pairs that match our condition count. And basically our sample let's test it on our sample first and finally let's solve the problem okay save uh, this gives two which uh, matches right uh, there are two such parts and the answer is five to six so we put two five to six here that's the right answer cool it works it's kind of nice ish i would say it's a little bit hard to read maybe maybe i'm not sure about these parts as well maybe it needs some headers like 
parse data like this uh, check condition or win condition I don't know putting it all together right Ah, what language is this? This is closure. No, I, I only written closure, no, no scheme, no racket. This is closure, I'm using clerk to like for literal programming, like nice present presentation here. <clears throat> uh, you know what? We need actually part one. There's some I would say that we need to indicate that there is part one somewhere. Okay, I, I think somewhere around here, part one. Uh, then this should be header of the next level. Okay. Yes, did I save it? save it? Okay, so part one, parse data, and probably I also want uh, move this here. Okay, part one. Um, La la la, parse data, let's try it in sample. Uh, win condition, let's check it. Putting it all together. I already, already solved the problem. Let's test some sample first. We should get two as a result. I guess it would be better if I stick headers. Yeah, looks looks fine. And I guess here we can start part two. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's start with, it seems like there's still quite a bit of duplicate word planned instead of the else would like to know the number of pairs that overlap at all. In the above example, the first two pairs don't overlap while the remaining four pairs um, do overlap. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Basically, uh, very much the same. Like. This doesn't make it harder at all. Maybe do it like this. Right. Yeah, maybe put the sticks here for nicer display. Uh huh, and maybe here as well. There are some. OK. 
Okay, okay, and uh, maybe here as well. Because I, I want to get like nicely formatted uh, notebook out of it, right? Since we, we could do this in REPL completely, but with the fun in that. Okay, yeah, now it looks much nicer. Okay, um, contains, so basically we, we write, mm -hmm. uh, what? Condition. A function is very similar, right? So the way to ranges overlap. So either C is here or D is here or um, C, A, D or B is here. Um, Overlap, right? Overlap. Win condition. Um, and basically, we, we have it same. But instead of part one, we Overlap solution is pretty much the same, uh, except that we use overlap instead of contains. Uh, it still says sample one. We don't use sample one. There's sample. All right, and we don't need this. We don't need this as well. I think. Well, we do need. I think we need it like this. Okay. Win condition uh, function is very similar. Um, maybe predicate. Predicate for part was very similar to part one. Uh, it gives four, and in this case, it gives eight eight six. Let's check if it's the right answer, and of course, it's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you saw that I, I would make a mistake here? No. Um, and then we got this, which we probably don't want. Right. That's it. Okay. That's that's clerk for you. I think it's pretty nice. I'm not sure how to host it, like how to publish this, but yeah. It looks pretty nice. I guess we want like here we want result, here we don't want result. So maybe this would be annoying. Is there something about visibility? Yes. Huh. Oh, you can do this. So I can do, in theory, I can do clerk visibility. Uh, hide like this, right? Yes, no? No. It's, yeah, <laughs> that didn't work. 
How different do it like this? No. Huh. That's a shame. Actually. I hoped I could do it somewhere. Well, I can do this, right? But then I, I will have to turn it on. You know, but uh, but we can do this, right? And do this. Yes. Yes. So basically, we don't need result here for example right but maybe we need it here 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 not here but here maybe here and here but i don't think well, it doesn't work well it works but Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be. Yeah, whatever. Some doors. <laughs> Let's show all results. All results are beautiful, right? Um. Okay. 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 We didn't test this function, but. Should we test it? I'm not sure. You can test it. I guess like this. Um, predicate. Let's test it. Right. Uh, overlap. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, two, three, four, five. Five, seven, seven, nine. Two, eight, three, seven. Six, six, four, six. Two, six, four, eight. Okay, we test it, let's test it, our lab, false, true, false, false, true, true. Two false, four, true, yeah, putting all together, let's, we should get to the result, we actually should get four as a result here. Um, that's it, yeah, we solved it. Uh, let me commit, it looks kind of fun. Kind of fun, but yeah, maybe too much. Um, it looks like it generated dot okay dot clerk goes into git ignore. Obviously, uh, new file git ignore use dot clerk. Uh, C P 
what? I, I don't remember what CP cache. CP cache, if I remember correctly, what would have. Uh huh. Um, okay, so depths template, yes. Day four, git ignore. Day four, year 2022, day four. Okay. Boom. Uh, let me stop this recording.